What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Dante, and this JUCO football video is brought to you by none other than Naples Rib Company. Out here at Vet Stadium, where the Long Beach City Vikings are set to take on the Allen Hancock Bulldogs. But not before they celebrate their homecoming and honor their sophomores who have been committed and worked hard extremely for this program for the last two years. And that hard work was put on display one last time, starting with Zachariah Dolphin, who got the offense going with some short receptions and good looking ball carries. Vikings were having their way on the ground to start. Saeed Galloway broke a couple tackles and picked up an extra couple yards. Then through the air with the dime from one to five, Derek West drops it in the corner pocket to Trinell Wrigley for the first score and the Vikings take the lead seven to nothing. Then defensively, the Vikings were even getting after it. Dejan Van Hook making the aggressive play on the ball and coming up with the INT. West and the offense will start on the Bulldog 27 yard line but unable to make the most of the turnover, they would only come up with the field goal. And we have a rule here at the 562. If it's over 35 yards, it's in the video. Vikings go up 10-0 in the opening quarter. The Bulldogs, on the other hand, were relentlessly trying to pick up big gains on the ground, but Long Beach did a great job most of the night on containing the run and preventing any big plays. But if you pound long enough, the defense will eventually have a breakdown. Hancock runs it in up the middle to put themselves on the board and now only trail 10 to seven. And the second quarter saw some offensive struggles by the Vikings, taking a sack here for a loss, then a missed opportunity on a deep ball, and they ended up giving the ball right back to Hancock. And Hancock wasted no time, goes to the play action this time around and finds an open man who scores. Score now reads 14 to 10 in favor of the Bulldogs. And the first half clock running low on Long Beach. Derek West at the helm of things, picks up a big game with his feet. Then, two plays later, it could have gone the wrong way, but a deflected pass ends up in the hands of Jalen Morgan at the two-yard line. And as time expires, Zach Leach taking the elevator upstairs to snatch this one. Vikings take a 17-14 halftime lead as well as the momentum. Third quarter saw a little less offense and a lot more defense on both sides. A good run here by West, but the Vikings would end up with nothing on his drive. At least they were making stops defensively. Van Hook with a hit to stop the ball carrier and bring up fourth and long for the Bulldogs. Then the only points of the fourth quarter came from Thaddeus D. Nye Dixon. He blocks the punt but can't recover it for six, but was still hyped to get the two and take a 19-14 lead in the third quarter. Jumping to the fourth now, love to see Long Beach kids still making plays out in Long Beach. Jalen Morgan from Long Beach, Jordan with the catch and score. Vikings take a 25-14 lead early in the fourth quarter. Hancock now trying to make a late comeback, but Jaden Davis not making it easy at all. They are forced to take a 50-yard field goal to bring this one to a one-score game. Long Beach making an attempt to run the clock out, but failed to pick up the first down, and now the defense has to come up with one more stop. But when you call his name, he answers. Drew Wilson, a last second interception, and he knows the rule. You pick it, you six it. Walk off pick six for Long Beach, and they take the game 31 to 17. We would like to thank all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center. And remember, for all Long Beach sports, make sure you tune in to the 562.org.